Okay, so the reviews are out for Fifty Shades of Grey. They've been added up and pulled together on Rotten Tomatoes, which gives it a mark out of 100. Anything below 50% um, tends to be uh, decided on as rotten, uh, and anything above that tends to be fresh. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey probably expected this. Uh, it's got 44%, um, which marks it as rotten. It's not great, but it's not as bad as it could be, let's be honest with you. Um, and let's have a quick look at some of the quotes from some of the reviews there. So the BBC has said, uh, this is BBC Worldwide has said, um, and I quote, there's undoubtedly more nudity than in a standard 21st century Hollywood movie, but it's less explicit and less passionate than what Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone got up to in Basic Instinct more than 20 years ago. So that's the BBC critic there for you, kind of approaching it a bit like a vintage wine, comparing it to the sort of the stone Douglas vintage of 20 years ago. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous, you can't actually compare the two. One of them's a romance movie, this one, uh, albeit with different overtones to it than you might expect. Whereas um, Basic Instinct was um, probably quite a self-aware um, thriller. Uh, it, had to, it had a totally different objective to it. Yes, it was trying to titillate the audience with, with sort of like possibly similar sort of things, but in all honesty, the, the two films are, are probably too different to compare, so okay. But yeah, there's one scathing review for you. Um, Kate Muir at The Times has said um, that she says it's, uh, it's a picture which starts out a bit more seriously. She says it's a picture which starts out hilarious, becomes ludicrous and finally dubious, which Although she gave it an overall negative review, according to the site, um, it sort of says that at least it's layered. I mean, I'm not I'm having massive plans to see this movie, but actually, it means at least that at least it takes you through a few different steps of emotions. There might not have been emotions that Muir wants to go through, um, but actually, at least it's a bit layered. But yeah, that's not great. Um, and then um, Andrew O'Hare says. I wouldn't say that Taylor Johnson, that's the director, has made a good movie from Fifty Shades of Grey precisely. That's asking too much, which kind of brings me to the central point here. Now, I'm not going to be an apologist for a film I haven't seen, okay? I haven't seen it yet, but I would say this. I think that actually this is clearly going to be a film where if you like the book, you're going to like the film. And by all accounts, actually, uh, the, book, the book is not as good as the film. The film's actually made some improvements over and above that. Um, so. It's obviously got an intended audience, and if you're not part of that intended audience, you're probably not going to like it, which is where um, a lot of film criticism is, is inevitably going to become unstuck, isn't it? Because uh, you get into film criticism possibly for different, whole different sets of movies um, from Fifty Shades of Grey, so chances are the critics are not going to like it. Um, that's not to say that you can't be a critic and like Fifty Shades of Grey. In fact, I've seen some very positive reviews. I've seen one from uh, Deadline um, just this morning. I was watching that, and it's worth going over to the site to have a look at it. It's actually really positive in many respects. One or two moments where it maybe sounded a little bit begrudging, but actually, overall, I think they were quite positive about it. And uh, it was quite an informed. It was a quite an informed review. It's worth going over to the website and having a look at that review. It's actually very good. Um, but yeah, you can't really sort of judge this on a whole different sort of set of merits that you might have learned in film school or over on uh, some sort of criticism course that you did. It's not for that kind of audience. And so, yeah, inevitably, actually, it probably got the score that you, you might have guessed. I think it's probably slightly better. I think the hatchets could have come out for this movie an awful lot more. Uh, and there's certainly some positivity to it. So yeah, you'll be able to make your own mind up if you want to go and see the film. It's out this weekend, and like I said, it's probably the, going to be the most awkward Valentine's Day you've ever been on. But yeah, it's out this weekend nonetheless, so you can go and see it and make up your mind then.